Apple just announced three new Apple Watches, including the Watch Series 8, Watch Ultra, and Watch SE. So in this video, I wanna show you a complete beginner's guide on the Apple Watch Series 8 and previous Apple Watches like the Apple Watch Series 7. In this video, we're gonna dive into all the tips, tricks, and hidden features that you're gonna to need to know as soon as you get your new Apple Watch. I'm also gonna show you how to update your Apple Watch and set it up so you have all these new features available. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, our complete beginner's guide on the Apple Watch Series 8 and Apple Watch Series 7. If you have an Apple Watch Series 7 and if your phone's updated to iOS 16, did you know you can actually add a widget right on the lock screen of your iPhone that will show the battery percentage of your Apple Watch? And to do it, it's super easy. All you have to do is just hold down on the iPhone like this, click customize, then tap this widget section right here, scroll down, click batteries, and then you're gonna have this option to click Andy's Apple Watch, and it's gonna show the battery percentage right on the lock screen of your iPhone, just like this. Now to access these new features and updates on the Apple Watch Series 7, you're gonna wanna go to the Watch app on your iPhone, which is located right here, and by clicking this, you're gonna see we have an update required. So all you have to do is just click on this right here, and now it's gonna bring up that software update. It's gonna tell me all the new updates and improvements for your Apple Watch, and you're gonna wanna just click install all down here. Now make sure your Apple Watch is plugged into an outlet for charging and it's at least above 50%. Otherwise you won't be able to install these updates. So just make sure those two things are all set and then just click install and you'll have these new features on your Apple Watch Series 7 in no time. We're going to take one of our Apple Watch bands right here. They come in two parts and you're going to see they have this little button on the Apple Watch right here. You're going to want to hold that down or press that in. And then all you have to do is it's super easy. Just slide in your band like this. And then that's the first part of the Apple Watch watch band. Then the next part, you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Hold down this button right here, just like this. And then you're going to want to slide in the other Apple watch band. So just like this, we have our Apple watch band connected on our Apple watch. And so to connect it to my wrist, it's super easy to do. All I have to do is just flip it over like this. And then basically what's going to happen is I'm just going to wrap the bands around my wrist like this and they're magnetic. So they're going to stick to one another. And just like that, I have my Apple watch connected to my wrist. So before we dive into some features to get you started with your smartwatch, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose the orientation of the smartwatch. So what this means is you're going to want to choose whether you want the watch to be on your left or right wrist. Me personally, I prefer my left wrist, but let me show you guys how to set this up. This is the first thing you're going to need to do once you get your smartwatch. So you just go to the settings right here on the watch then you're going to scroll down to general and then you're going to click orientation so once you click orientation you're going to have the option to choose from your left or right wrist like i said i prefer my left one then if we scroll down you're going to want to choose which side you want the digital crown on right now i have mine on the right side so in total looking at this i'd have my watch on my left wrist with the digital crown on the right side of the apple watch so these are my options in which i prefer but like i said this is completely up to you and depending on how you want to wear that watch so first set this up then come back to this video after that and then you, we can get started on some great features to go with your smartwatch so once you guys have your orientation and your band set up on your smartwatch. I kind of want to walk you guys through the physical features of this specific smartwatch, which is the Apple Watch Series 7. So if you are looking at the Apple Watch right now, you're going to see the back of it has this MagSafe area right here, which actually allows you to charge the Apple Watch with the charger it comes with. I have that right here. All you have to do is just plug it into an outlet and just simply place it on this. Then once you plug it into the outlet, it'll start charging. It charges super fast. So you guys are going to be able to use your Apple Watch very quickly after charging. I'm pretty sure eight minutes of charging allows for eight hours of Apple Watch use, which is an incredible ratio for charging and usage of this Apple Watch. So definitely when you need to charge that Apple Watch, all you have to do is just stick it to this charger right here and you will be good to go with charging that Apple Watch. Also on this Apple Watch Series 7, we have the digital crown right here. And what this essentially does is allows you to navigate through your Apple Watch. So all you have to do to get into your Apple Watch from the watch face right here is just click the digital crown right here and you're gonna see it's gonna take you to the home screen for your Apple Watch. And to navigate or zoom in or zoom out, all you have to do is just scroll like this on the digital crown and you're going to see that you can zoom into any of these apps of your choice. So for example, if we want to zoom in right here on calendar, all I have to do is just scroll in like this. It's going to take me specifically to the calendar app. Then if I want to exit out of that, all I have to do is just press the digital crown again. It's going to take me right back to the homepage. There's also other features you can use with the digital crown. I'm going to be 
showing you guys how to use these throughout the video, but this is just to get you started with your Apple Watch or your smartwatch with this digital crown. And then in addition to the digital crown, we also have this power button right here. So by clicking this power button on the side, it's gonna take you to all of your recent apps that you have opened on your Apple Watch. You can scroll through them and see which ones you wanna clear or which ones you wanna utilize. And then also with the power button on the side, if you hold it down like this, you're gonna be able to shut off your Apple Watch power off so you won't have to save any data or energy while using it. So if you wanna shut that off, all you have to do is just hold down that power button and you'll be able to shut off your Apple Watch like this. But these are some physical features. I'm gonna walk you guys through more of these as we go throughout the video. But these are just a few ways to get started with your smartwatch. Another feature for the Apple Watch's Series 7 power button, which is located right here, like I showed you guys, if you double click it like this, it's gonna take you to an Apple Cash page right here where you can actually pay with your Apple card if you have that. As you can see, I have an insufficient balance. I have zero dollars in that because I do not have my Apple Pay set up, nor do I have my Apple Cash set up. But if you did and you want to use that to spend or buy a product, all you have to do is just double click and it's going to take you to this Apple Cash card right here just by double clicking that power button and you guys are going to have access to that right away. And this is one way to use the power button. So if you want to set up Apple Cash to use your Apple Watch with that, I definitely recommend doing so. I actually have to set that up. But this is a great and efficient way to pay for things without having to pull out your phone or your cards. You can do it directly through your Apple Watch. Another important feature to check out on your smartwatch, and in this case, the Apple Watch Series 7, is to locate the control center. And that is super easy to do. All you have to do is just swipe up on your Apple Watch like this, and it's gonna take you to this options page where we have tons of different icons to choose from. And I'm gonna walk you guys through all of these. So first off, we have our Wi-Fi, which is right here, and you wanna make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi by typing in that password for your Wi-Fi so you guys can have internet when using your smartwatch or your iPhone or any product that you may have. Wi-Fi is an essential part of using the best of the abilities on your Apple Watch. And then next, we have find your iPhone. So by clicking this button, it's gonna cause my iPhone to make a beeping noise so I can locate my phone in case I lost it and it's super easy to do. All I have to do is just click this right here and then you're going to hear my iPhone in the background. And once you hear that, you know your iPhone is found and you guys can look for it. It makes it super easy to find your iPhone. It is a super loud noise as you guys can hear. Next, we have our battery percentage, which is located right here. If we click on that, it's going to show us how much battery we have left on our Apple Watch. As you can see, I have 95% remaining. And say you start to get low, you can always turn on this power reserve button right here. And by doing that, that will reduce some of the strain while using your battery and it'll help you save power in case you need your Apple Watch. So this is the battery. We're just going to click done right here. It's going to take us back to the Apple Watch's control center. We have our ringer right here. And as you can see, I have my ringer or notifications turned off. So this means when I receive a notification on my Apple Watch, it's actually going to vibrate rather than make a noise out of the Apple Watch. I prefer having this on. I like to have the vibrate rather than having the noise come on. So this is up to you. You guys can either have your notifications turned on or off. I have mine off, so I'll just receive a vibration instead of a noise coming out of my Apple Watch. And then next we have theater mode. And what this does is by clicking this icon right here, it's gonna tell you what theater mode actually is. And essentially theater mode turns on silent mode and keeps your screen dark until you tap the screen or press the digital crown or side button. And this allows you to watch movies or be in a theater, any type of area where you're watching or listening to media. It'll allow you to have your iPhone or Apple Watch dim so you guys don't have any bright notifications pop up to distract the crowd or whoever you're with in case they want to watch their movie or watch that media in silence. Next, we have our walkie-talkie icon, which is right here. And as you guys can see, if I click the walkie-talkie, say you have a friend or a colleague who has an Apple Watch and they're located near you, you guys can actually speak into your Apple Watch and use it as a walkie-talkie opposed to having to call them or text text them on your iPhone or your phone. You guys can use this walkie-talkie just to speak to each other directly through this Apple Watch. I think it's super cool and it's kind of fun to use if your friend has an Apple Watch. So I definitely recommend checking out the walkie-talkie if you have any colleagues or friends you want to try that icon with. And then next we have our Do Not Disturb mode. I'm sure most of you guys know what Do Not Disturb is, but it's right here on our Apple Watch. And by clicking that, it's gonna allow you to have notifications turned off. So if you're working and you don't wanna procrastinate or receive any notifications that might be a distraction, you can just turn on Do Not Disturb like this. And if you click on, you're gonna have multiple options to choose from. I'm gonna walk you guys through all of these, but we have Do Not Disturb. We have a personal Do Not Disturb mode, a work one, a sleep one. The sleep one's very cool, and I'm excited to show you guys that later on in the video. It's definitely one of the newest 
and coolest features for the Apple Watch Series 7. But overall, this is the Do Not Disturb section. If you guys don't want to get any distractions, I definitely recommend turning that on. We have our flashlight, which I think is super cool. As you know, to turn on your flashlight, you have to go to Control Center on your iPhone, but you can actually use your Apple Watch as a flashlight as well. And it actually, by clicking it, what's gonna happen is your iPhone's gonna become a white screen, which actually acts as a very good flashlight. Let me show you guys how this works right now. By clicking it, you're gonna see that this white screen pops up and you guys can actually use that to navigate through the dark if you guys need to. As you can see, it's super bright and it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the dark so you don't need to pull out your phone. So I definitely recommend trying that out when you guys get the chance. I'm gonna go back to the control center right here and that was the flashlight. Next we have airplane mode. I'm sure most of you know what airplane mode is. All you have to do is just turn this on when you're in an airplane so you guys don't interfere with the connection or the internet on the airplane as it's taking off. So definitely turn that on when you're on an airplane. I'm sure most of you guys know how to use that function on your Apple Watch and your iPhone, but I just wanted to run it by you guys. Then next we have our water lock. And I'm sure most of you are aware if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually swim in deep water and go underwater with your Apple Watch and it will not break. It's very waterproof. But the water lock icon comes very well in handy when you guys swim in any water or go underwater with your Apple Watch. You wanna make sure there's no water left behind in your Apple Watch after you're done swimming. So by turning on water lock, it's actually gonna vibrate your Apple Watch and remove any excess water that was trapped inside your Apple Watch. So by clicking it, you guys are gonna see, it's gonna start to shake my Apple Watch like this, if, especially if I turn down the digital crown, you're gonna see it's gonna eject that water like this. You're gonna hear a vibrate coming out of your Apple Watch to ensure that all of it's getting out of there. And then once that's done, you guys can bet that all your water is gonna be removed from that Apple Watch. Because as you guys know, you can swim with your Apple Watch. It's completely waterproof. Just to be better safe than sorry, you definitely wanna have all that excess water removed out of that watch. So definitely turn that on after you guys do a deep dive in any water or go swimming. It comes in handy if you don't want to break your Apple Watch, even though I doubt it will. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce you guys Rakuten, the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're going to be able to shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other great deals just by using this app. And also with our exclusive link with Rakuten, you're going to be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it. So I'm going to show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now. Claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link. All you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. That is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video and it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to AppFind. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I wanna thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's gonna take you to this page and it's gonna say, all I can buy is to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30 on Rakuten, you're gonna get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're gonna be able to get free $30 and you're gonna be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. Or using our exclusive link, I wanna show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are gonna be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you would essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members to love. For example, we got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back other great deals in the category section. So if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these, you can gladly go to do that on this category section. But if we click on sports and outdoors, for example, we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas, all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back. We're going to click on Lululemon. It's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information. It's going to tell you when it expires. It's going to show you these top coupons. But this is just one of the categories of many Anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. 
and think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. Next, we have our audio tab on this control center right here. So if we click on this, it's going to show your audio and what it's connected to. As you can see, the audio is connected to your Apple Watch right now. But as you can see, I have all my other audio devices right here. They're mostly AirPods. So if I want to connect my audio on my Apple Watch to any of my AirPods, all I have to do is just click my AirPods if they're located near me at the time. And by doing this, whenever I listen to music or any audio, audio on my Apple Watch is going to come through my earphones that I have connected on my Apple Watch. So if I wanted to connect my AirPods right here, I'd click that. And then any music I'd listen to, you'd hear it through your AirPods and not your Apple Watch. But like I said, I am on an Apple Watch right now. So any noises that I hear, any media that I listen to, it's going to come directly out of my Apple Watch. But like I said, this is up to you. You guys can choose which audio devices you want to hear your Apple Watch through. But this is the audio section on the control center in your Apple Watch. Then lastly, we have this hearing icon right here. And by clicking that, you guys are going to see we just have the headphone volume right here. I don't have any headphones connected, but if I did, I'd be able to alter that volume right here by just swiping the left or right. But as you guys know, and as I explained, I don't have any audio or earphones connected to my Apple Watch if, right now. But if I did, you guys can just turn up and edit that volume if you guys need to. So these are all the control center features I just showed you guys. Feel free to check them out. Like I said, all you have to do is just swipe up on your face like this, and you're going to have access to all of these. You can also edit them by just clicking edit right here, and you're going to be able to choose which ones you want to delete from your control center. And then you can actually click more right here, and you can add this one right here. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to add this one, but this is one way to edit that control center. And like I said, definitely check out the control center when you set up your smartphone smartwatch so you guys can use your smartwatch like a complete pro. I also wanted to mention to you guys that when you receive a notification on your iPhone, you will also receive that notification on your Apple Watch and it's super easy to locate where those notifications go on your Apple Watch. So when I received a notification, usually you'll see a red dot at the top of the Apple Watch's face, but since I don't have any notification right here, you won't see that red dot, but say I did, all you'd have to do is just scroll down like this and you'd see the notification that you received on your iPhone now on your Apple Watch. As you can see, I have no notifications, but if I did, like I said, you'd see a red dot right here, and that would notify you that there's a notification for you to check out either on your Apple Watch and on your iPhone. And just by clicking that, it'll take you directly to that notification on your Apple Watch if that app that to receive the notification is compatible with your Apple Watch. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys in case you forgot or if you weren't sure what that red notifications button meant. But that's one way you guys can access your notifications on your Apple Watch just by scrolling down like that. Say for some reason you need to take a screenshot on your Apple Watch, you guys can actually do that. And I want to show you guys how to utilize that. It's super easy to do. So if we were using an iPhone to take a screenshot, you'd hold the power button and volume button down. But it's different for an Apple Watch. All you have to do is just actually press the digital crown and the power button at the same time. So let me show you guys how this is done. All I'm going to do is just click the digital crown and the power button at the same time, just like this. And as you can see, a screenshot is taken. And if you weren't sure if it was taken, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is just go to your phone, which I'm going to pull up right now. And you guys are going to see if I go to my photos on my Apple Watch, you guys are going to be able to see that screenshot right here. As you can see, I have this one and I have this one I took recently. So if you guys have to take a photo or a screenshot on your Apple Watch for any information you need to share with someone or keep it in your photos, you guys can do that on your Apple Watch by clicking the digital crown and the power button at the same time. And it'll appear right in your photo album on your iPhone. It'll also appear on your photo album on your Apple Watch as well. I just figured I'd show it to you on my phone because it's easier to view. But as you guys can see that it's right here located in my photos and that's how you guys take a screenshot on the Apple Watch in case you ever need to do so. If you have an Apple Watch or any Apple product, I'm sure that you guys are aware that you can also use Siri on any of these Apple devices. Siri is a universal feature for all Apple products and it comes in very handy on your Apple Watch. I want to show you guys how to access that and you guys actually can access Siri through the digital crown like I previously showed you guys on this Apple Watch. It is super easy to do. All you have to do is just say you're in the app section for your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just hold down the digital crown like this and then Siri will pop up. You can say, hey Siri, show me the weather. 
and she'll show me the weather like that. And then you guys can ask her anything to get any information right at your fingertips or any data that you need. Siri is very helpful when it comes to using Apple products, especially when you have your Apple Watch right on your wrist and you need to get some information quickly. Siri is the way to go. And like I said, easy way to access her by just holding down that digital crown and you'll have it right at your fingertips on your Apple Watch Siri 7. The newest updates to your Apple Watch and iPhone has given us tons of new watch faces to choose from. And as you can see right now, I have Kaleidoscope, which is a super cool design on my Apple Watch. If I twist the digital crown like this, you're going to see all these cool vibrant designs and colors coming right through the screen of my Apple Watch. But if you want to find any other Apple Watch faces, just go to the face gallery and there are tons to choose from that are brand new. One of my favorites is Infograph. And if we click on one of these watch faces right here and just click add, you're going to have the ability to customize and edit this watch face right through your Apple Watch. All we have to do is just hold down, click edit, and now you're going to have the ability to choose the color of this infograph watch face. You're going to have the option to choose the complications that come with it and all these amazing features. And these are all brand new faces for your Apple Watch. So definitely take a look at these on your Apple Watch or on your iPhone when you get the chance. And just make sure that your watch is updated to the newest version of OS, which you can access right here in the general section on your iPhone. And then you can go to software update, make sure that you're fully updated, and also make sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'm I'm going to be showing you how to update your phone to iOS 16 and gain early access to this incredible new update. So just make sure to stick around and let's dive into the next features for this incredible Apple Watch Series 7. And also, if you're new to the Apple Watch, if you want to make your bubble menu for your apps, a list view instead. All you have to do is just hold down on the bubble menu right here and you're going to have the option to choose list view instead so you can actually see all the apps that you have located right through your Apple Watch. This is an easier way to look at it, but it's completely up to you and how you want to customize your watch. Right now, we're looking at the face of the watch for your Apple Watch Series 7. As you can see, I have the specific design for my Apple Watch's face, but like I said, you guys can actually change this directly on your Apple Watch's homepage just by editing it right here. And I want to show you guys how to do that all you have to do is just hold down your watch face like this and it's going to back out or zoom out like this and it's going to show you the options that you already have set up and if you haven't set up any options like you guys can see i have contour i have a mickey mouse one and then i also have an activity analog but if you want to add a new one all you have to do is just click new right here and then you're going to have the option to look at new watch faces such as these ones right here and you can choose which ones you want to add if you find them very cool there's tons of options to choose from. So whatever you want to add, if you just want to do the, this one right here, you just click add and then you click view. Like I said previously, you guys can actually access all your Apple Watch features directly on an iPhone if you have one. And all you have to do is just go to this watch section, which is located right here. And then you're going to see we have all the features that you can access or change on your Apple Watch. As you can see, I have all my faces to choose from. I can add more if I want to. I have my notifications, my app view, my dock general, all the settings you think you would need on your Apple Watch, you can find it right here through your iPhone. It even gives you all the apps and ways to edit them directly through your iPhone. And all these apps are located on your Apple Watch. So you can edit these in any way. I'm gonna be walking you guys through tons of different features you can use using your iPhone setting for your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out when you guys get the chance. I'm gonna dive into some amazing features you guys can utilize with this watch app on your iPhone to utilize your Apple Watch even better. As you guys can see, we're on my Apple Watch settings on my iPhone, and I want to show you guys one specific cool feature for the Apple Watch or any smartwatch, and that's the app view section. So if we look at my Apple Watch right here, as you guys are going to see, my apps are in this type of view, but you guys can change that if you guys feel like it's too crowded or a hassle to find these apps. And you can just go to your iPhone right here and just click on app view, and now you're going to have the option to have the grid view like I just showed you guys or the list view. So say we click list view right here, it's going to change the orientation of these apps on your Apple Watch. So now if we go back to my Apple Watch after changing this app view, you guys are going to see right when I click this, it's going to show my apps like this opposed to the grid view. And this allows for an easier way to find them if you guys think the grid view is too confusing. So like I said, it can be a hassle trying to find your apps and scrolling through all of them on this large array of the grid view. So the list view makes it easier and more organized, but it's up to you. It's your preference. I prefer grid view. Honestly, I think it looks cooler that way and that's why I do it. But if it's up to you, you guys can choose between list view and grid view. And this is one way you can access this feature on your iPhone through your Apple Watch. Or you can do it on your Apple Watch settings just by using the watch itself. You don't have to use the iPhone. But since the iPhone's a bigger screen, it makes for an easier way to do this. So it's up to you whether you want to use your iPhone or Apple Watch to change these settings. But I just want to show you guys one of these features 
on the iPhone settings for your Apple Watch, which is the app view. So definitely check this out when you get the chance. Like I said, it's up to you which you prefer. And let's dive into some more great features on the settings for your Apple Watch. We also have the dock setting. So like I said, with the power button on your Apple Watch, if I hold this down, it's gonna take me to all of my recent apps that I've been on on my Apple Watch. But if you go back to the iPhone and click dock right here, you're gonna have the option to choose between recents or favorites. So if we click favorites, instead of when you click that power button, now all your favorite apps are gonna pop up opposed to the recent ones. So this is an easier way to access all your favorite apps, the ones you spend the most time on. Like I said, I have the recents on, but if you click that power button after changing it to favorites, you're gonna see all the favorite apps are gonna pop up on your Apple Watch opposed to the recent ones. I do recents because it allows me to clear them more easily and I wanna clear all the apps as fast as I can to save data and battery, but it's up to you. So definitely check out whether you want the recents or favorites on that dock using the power button, which is located right right here on your Apple Watch. And then you guys can figure out which works best for you as you spend more time utilizing your smartwatch. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about for your Apple Watch is how easily and surprisingly efficiently you can send text messages on your Apple Watch. So I bet most of you guys assume that since it's an Apple Watch and has a much smaller screen than your iPhone, it might be more difficult to send any notifications or text anyone on your Apple Watch. But I wanna show you guys that it's actually very easy to do and the Apple Watch Series 7 makes it so much more efficient when using your Apple Watch to text people. And I wanna show you guys how to do that. So for example, if we go to text messages right here, I'm gonna click text messages app right here and I wanna start a new message for example. I'm just gonna click new message right here and I can add a contact for example. I'm gonna scroll down and choose my mom. And by clicking create message, you guys are gonna see we have tons of already customized text messages you guys can send right off the bat by hello, what's up, on my way, okay? All these options you guys can choose that are normal text messages that you receive and send on a daily basis. You can send those right here. So for example, I wanted to say hello to my mom. I can send that. And then I can also type too, but let's just send that first. And I also want to text her, for example, saying, how's your day? You guys can actually do this very easily on your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just swipe from one letter to the next, and it's going to pick up what you're saying very intuitively. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If I want to say, how's your day? It's super easy to do. Watch what I do as I type this in. I'm just going to swipe, how's your day? day just like that. I'm going to click send like that. As you can see, it's much easier than you'd expect while using your Apple Watch. People would think that since the screen's so small, it's harder to do this, but the Apple Watch is very compatible when sending text messages. So I definitely recommend trying it if you're in a rush and you don't have time to pull out your phone or if you want to send a quick message. Like I said, the Apple iMessage gives you all of these base text messages that you normally send like, hello, how's your day on my way? All those types of text you guys can see when typing a message. So definitely give it a try when you get the chance. I definitely recommend trying it. And that's one way to use the text messages on your Apple Watch or your smartwatch. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys an incredible app where you can earn rewards and other great prizes simply by just answering questions taking surveys and sharing feedback, and that app is Quick Thoughts. Using our exclusive link I'm about to share with you guys, you guys can earn all these rewards by just answering thoughtfully different surveys and taking surveys and other quizzes, and I'm gonna show you guys how to access that link right now. Claiming free rewards and other great prizes with Quick Thoughts using our exclusive link, all you have to do is just go to Safari or any other web browser and type in bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. That is bit dot ly slash get quick thoughts it's also in the link in the description of this video and it is right here on the screen if you in case you forget it make sure to check those links out after this video but basically all you have to do is just type that in and click go it is going to actually take us to the app on the app store itself so essentially it's going to give you an overview of the app right here and look if you look right here it's going to show you all the different rewards and prizes you can actually win such as gift cards different discounts cashback and other great rewards all from this app just by taking simple surveys and sharing feedback on certain things. I'm going to show you guys the app in a second, but this is a quick preview of it. And all you have to do is just download it today. Once we're on the app page using the link we gave you guys, you're just going to click open. It's going to take us to the Quick Thoughts app. It's going to ask you to sign up or if you're an existing user, just put in your information, but it's completely free to use. And keep in mind that you guys are supporting our channel by using the link we shared with you. But also on top of that, you guys are getting access to some of the best rewards 
and prizes with the different surveys that Quick Thoughts come with by using our exclusive link. So definitely keep that in mind and definitely use our link when downloading Quick Thoughts. On top of that, this is an overall win-win app where you guys actually have the chance to win great rewards and prizes simply by just taking quizzes in different surveys. So you guys do not want to miss out on this opportunity and make sure to click that link. It is bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. It's in the link in the description of the video. So just click that when this video is over and thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Enjoy. If you have a smartwatch, one of the best things you can do with it is actually track your fitness and data while working out or moving. And like I said, all smartwatches, especially the Apple Watch Series 7s, are a great way to do it. They're very intuitive. They can pick up your movement, walking, calories burned very well on this Apple Watch. And I want to show you guys a specific app that is meant for all of this that comes with the Apple Watch once you get it. And that's the activity app. So if we click on that right here, it looks like a bullseye. You guys are going to see I'm on the activity app right now and it's going to show you how much I've moved, how much I've exercised and how much I've stood in the past day or weeks or months, however you want to track that. And it actually give you information on how to improve that and give you weekly goals and challenges to improve your well-being and health. So if I scroll down like this, you guys are going to see it's all giving me all the metrics that I've provided during the day. As you can see, I haven't moved much. I also haven't put this Apple Watch on, which is most likely the reason why that is. But if I scroll down, you're going to see my weekly summary right here. It's going to show all the movement and calories I've burned, all the steps, all the distances I've moved. These are just some metrics you guys can check out on your Apple Watch. You guys can actually check this out on your iPhone's activity app as well. Because once you get the Apple Watch, the activity app actually syncs into your iPhone as well. And you guys can actually change your goals as well. But I want to scroll to the right right here. And you guys are going to see all the monthly challenges. You guys get badges for everything you guys complete. You can close your rings. And the goal of the activity app is to close these rings like I showed at the beginning of this clip. As you can see, I have my movement, my walking, and my standing. The goal each day is actually to get those fully circled around the bullseye. And doing that, you guys actually will have a good way to track your health. And like I said, you guys can change these metrics depending on how much you want to move that day. So for example, if I want to burn 1,000 calories a day, I want to make sure that I have my movement set to 1,000 calories so I can circle and complete that ring once it's done. An app that goes hand in hand with the activity app I just showed you guys is the workout app that you can find on your smartwatch, specifically the Apple Watch Series 7. So if we go to it, it's this green icon right here. And you guys are going to see we have tons of different customized workouts to choose from on this app, anywhere from traditional strength training to outdoor cycle, walking, running. You even have basketball. So there's tons of different fitness activities you guys can choose from while working out. So if you guys want to stay on top of your health, with your activity app, you definitely should use the workout app so you guys can track how many calories you've burned, all the movement and standing, and all the overall activities you use with this workout app. Because like I said, there's tons of different workouts to choose and they're all customized and designed for your preferences. So say you like basketball, you can even track how many calories, how much movement, how long you've worked out for with this workout app. So they go hand in hand. So definitely check out the activity app and the workout app when you get your smartwatch. These are both worth checking out. And let's move on to another feature and another app that actually goes hand in hand with both of these apps. The Apple Watch Series 7 actually does a great job at tracking your sleep for overall health and well-being because as we know, sleep is very important. And this Apple Watch does a great job at tracking that and allowing you to improve on your sleep overall. And this is the sleep app right here. If we click on this, you're going to see I already have a schedule for my bedtime and wake up from 12 a.m. to 7.45. So this is my schedule right now. But if we click full schedule right here, you guys are going to see a little more information about that. So I have my sleep schedule every day from 12 a.m. to 7.45 and it also gives me my sleep goal of seven hours and I can also add a schedule if I want. So I can choose my days, my wake up time, what time I want my alarm to go off in the morning. And if you sleep with your Apple Watch on by that time when the alarm goes off, your Apple Watch will vibrate and that'll act as your alarm to wake you up opposed to having a noise come out of your iPhone. So I definitely recommend it. It actually does a great job at waking up. It's a strong vibration. So this is overall a great app to stay on top of your sleep and improve. It's gonna show you what metrics and how many hours you're sleeping a day. So I definitely recommend using that data to improve on your sleep and well-being. 
Also on top of this, when it's time to go to bed, your Apple Watch and your iPhone will also let you know that it's time to go to bed and your iPhone screen and Apple Watch screen will actually turn off so you guys don't have to go on your phone and won't be distracted with that. So overall, this will prevent you guys from staying up too late, staring at your phone for too long. So I definitely think it's worth checking out if you guys want to improve on your sleep and well-being. As I've already explained to you guys, the Apple Watch does a great job at improving your health and getting a great night's sleep is one way to do that. So I definitely recommend checking out the sleep app when you get the chance on your Apple Watch Series 7. So if we click on that, you guys are going to see this is the mindfulness app right here. And you guys have two options to choose from. You have Reflect or breathe and both these options allow you to take a deep breath and reflect on your day as you guys go through them so we click on reflect right now you guys are going to see it's going to say take a moment to pause just like this and then it's going to say bring to mind a relationship you cherish and think about and something you can teach you so we're going to click begin right here and it's going to show this vibrant color display right here and it's going to allow you to sit back not go on any of your devices and just reflect on your day and appreciate all the great things you have in your life. It's gonna take a minute of your time, so I definitely recommend doing this one minute a day, that's all it takes. It's gonna allow you to reflect and enjoy the moment even more. So once this is done, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the breathing on the mindfulness app, but just for the moment, take a step back and reflect on all the great things you guys have in life. So after you guys are done reflecting, I wanna show you the breathe section on this mindfulness app. We just click breathe, it's gonna click one minute right here, and basically it's gonna say it's gonna be say be still, Bring your attention to your breath and just focus on your breathing for one to two minutes. And it's going to show this vibrant color display like it did for the reflection part of this mindfulness app. But it's going to say exhale and inhale. It's going to tell you how to monitor your breath slowly. Take deep breaths and inhale. And just continue to do this for one minute. And you guys are going to feel already better right away. I definitely recommend doing this just for one minute. It's going to be very helpful to your mindfulness and well-being. It's important to take a step back and take a few breaths a day and focus on the things you cherish in life. While I'm showing you guys some apps, I also want to show you guys the Shortcut app, which is a great app to learn and find music more efficiently. It's a great app, and I think it's super fun. They actually have a few games inside the app that I want to show you guys. So let's go to the Shortcuts app. It's right here, and you guys can see we have Shazam Shortcut and Music Shortcut. So say you want to find a song, but you don't know what the name of it is but you're hearing it at the moment all you have to do is just click shazam shortcut and it'll actually pick up that song you're listening to and it'll show you what the name of that song is so i'm not playing any music right now but if i didn't i wanted to learn what song that was it'd pop up right here on this shazam icon and i'd be able to download that and add that to my music playlist so i think that's a super good idea for you guys to do if you guys want to find more music that you enjoy then next we have the music quiz icon which is going to allow you to guess which song is playing through your iphone once you click it i I think it's pretty fun and it allows you guys to guess which song you guys are listening to so let's click music quiz right now it's going to say we're going to play a song right now it's going to allow me to pick the song after i listen to it so it's going to start playing a song any moment on my iphone and then we can click done right here and now it's going to start playing that song just like this as you can hear the songs in the background i'm going to click pause and it's going to give me which option of that song it is that i was just listening to and i'm going to choose this one right here and if i'm right it's going to say that i was correct and you guys can keep playing and listening to other music if you guys would like but i think it's a super fun game you guys should check out on the shazam app on your apple watch series 7. it allows for you to kill some time if you have nothing going on so i definitely recommend checking out the music quiz on the shortcuts app on your apple watch series 7. it's definitely worth checking out and you guys can kill some time and have some fun while doing so i know i've showed you guys a lot of apps and a lot of ways to get more acquainted with your smartwatch or your apple watch series 7 but i do recommend checking out the tips app which is located right here on your apple watch series 7 and by doing this you guys are going to get a better idea of how to use your apple watch you guys are going to learn some more tips and tricks this is going to allow you to have a better experience with your apple watch and overall become an expert and pro while doing so so i definitely recommend checking out this tips app we have a welcome we have a what's new we have a health and fitness tip section we even have a customize your apple watch section in this tips app so definitely check this out when you guys get the chance this is going to allow you to become an app absolute pro while using your Apple Watch. So definitely check this out on your Apple Watch when you guys get the chance. And now I'm going to show you guys how to disconnect the Apple Watch bands from this Apple Watch. It's very easy and you do it in a similar way to set them up and connect them to your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just unstrap them like this. Then like I said, we have this button right here. All you have to do is just hold that down and just slide the Apple Watch band out like that. Super easy, they come right out. But like I said, each smartwatch is different and you guys can have different connectivity with your certain bands. Like they can be Velcro, magnetic, 
strap on. But this is the way to do it for this Apple Watch with this magnetic band. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. This was a beginner's guide for your smartwatch, specifically the Apple Watch Series 7. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvib.com where you guys can subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. I also encourage you guys to go to our App Find VIP Instagram where you guys can get the best tips and tricks on all Apple Watches, iPhones, and Androids out there. We're going to be posting content daily, so definitely check that out. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.